Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam Amma ba'da Ahmadu fillah Continue on in our Clarification Or our Brief Perusal of the Salafi Dawah And Some of the issues Entailed in the Dawah to Ahl Sunnah uh, one of the things that is very important and persistent with Ahlul Sunnah is a persistence in Dawah, uh, in calling to the Haq, not calling to themselves in Hizbiya, not calling to blind following to their scholars or their, their group or their clique, and that they are consistent. And this is the way of the Taifat al Mansura. Uh, the the saved sect uh, who we mentioned as the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam mentioned la tazal taifatu min ummati mansurun mansurin la yudhurhum min, khad, min khadalahum hatta tukum as-sa'a the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa ala alayhi wa sallam said in a hadith or ruahu ahmed wa tirmidhi he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said there won't cease to be a group from my nation uh, that is assistant, that is, uh, you know, that they are, um, that they are, that they are saved, um, you know, that they're saved and that they are, they are, they are the uh, victorious group. La yadurahum, no one will harm them. Men khadalahum, whoever, uh, you know, tries to deceive them. And in another narration, men khalifahum, and whoever uh, differs with them until the hour is established. So that is good news for Ahl Sunnah. And that is something very important about adhering to the Dawah to Salafiyya. And again, as we mentioned, Al Ibra bi Haqqaiq, Laysa bi Musamiyat, that the reality of something is in its substance, not in its name. So it's not simply an amount, amount, a matter of, of claiming that you're from Ahl Sunnah or claiming that you're Salafi or something, but it's actually in the practice. Wallahu musta'an, and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us of our many shortcomings, and bless us to be of those who are truly Salafi, and who are truly calling to the Book of Allah, and the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and the Minhaj of the Salaf al-Salih, ridwanullahi alayhim. And <clears throat> with that being the case, one of the sifat of Ahl sunnah is istimrariyah meaning uh that they are uh consistent and they they're consistent and they that they're present and uh that they are consistent in their their uh, in their usul in their foundation and they're persistent in their dawah and their dawah to tohi dawah to kitab wa sunnah and that they are consistent in their menhaj. They don't change. One minute they're Dio Bundy ish. Next day they are Tabliki ish. The third day they are Tekfiri ish. So instead, Ahl Sunnah, they adhere to those principles. And that's why it's so important for us to gain uh, knowledge of the religion. That we have to gain knowledge of the Book of Allah and the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Whenever Allah wants good for a person, He gives them understanding of the religion. Without fiqh fi deen, you're not going to be able to know what the path of Ahl Sunnah is. So many people, they want to be Salafi now because it's become trendy. It's become trendy and, and around the world you hear the, the term Salafi and the esteem and the status of being, uh, uh, you know, uh, of adhering to the Salaf. So it becomes a trend for some people. Other people, they don't like that term. They hate that term. They're scared of that term. They've been um, misled or misguided in accordance with people who adhere to that term. And so uh, it has different things for different people. But the Dawah to Ahl Sunnah, anyhow, the Minhaj is consistent. And with that being, uh, as, as I mentioned, that people, uh, the, the importance of having knowledge, uh, that this is imperative because a lot of people, as I said, as it becomes trendy to call yourself Salafi, and you have new Muslim women, they're wearing niqab, covering one eye, you know, new shahadas and stuff like this, and they don't know anything about the deen. They don't know anything about what... Uh, what they should be practicing. Even some of the people are so, they want to, to practice, but they have no knowledge. They're worried about things which are less important, like women 
in the West worrying about getting circumcised instead of learning to hate. And these are true uh, scenarios. And so this is this shows us that our priority has to be on on the knowledge, on the Islamic knowledge, sound Islamic knowledge, and that way you know what the Tao is, and that way you have the tools and the usul to be consistent whenever fitna arises and a new firqa, a new group comes, a new extremist uh, uh, sect appears, and you know how to deal deal with things, and all of that comes from knowledge, and become and and and, and being consistent. Being consistent in knowledge and being consistent in your usul and in your minhaj and in your uh, in your strength. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Kitab al-Kareem, وَسَابَقُونَ الْأَوَلُونَ مِنَ الْمُهَاجِرِينَ وَالْأَنصَارِ وَالَّذِينَ اَتَبُهُمْ بِإِحْسَانِ رَضِيَ اللَّهُ تَلْعَنُمْ وَرَضُوا عَنْ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Kitab al-Kareem, in Surah Al-Tawbah, he says, وَسَابَقُونَ الْأَوَلُونَ مِنَ الْمَهَاجِرِينَ وَالْأَنصَارِ And those who preceded, preceded in what? In faith, in iman. أَسَابَقُونَ uh, الْأَوَلُونَ مِنَ الْمُهَاجِرِينَ وَالْأَنصَارِ From the muhajirin, meaning the sahaba رَضِيَ اللَّهُ تَعَلُونَ Who made hijrah. وَأَنصَارِ And those who, ex who accepted them in Ahl Medina. وَالَّذِينَ اَتَّبَعُهُمْ And those who follow them. In righteousness, Allah is pleased with them, and they are pleased with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Those are the sifat of Ahl sunnah and the sifat of the mu'mineen. And where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Asabakun uh, al you know, the, the first uh, the first who made precedence or took precedence, this shows us that the jama'ah, that they, uh, that, you know, the jama'ah has a long history, that it's not something new, and that they are. Uh, you know, and that is what's maqsood here and what's meant here is, is is the people. It's talking about the people and not necessarily the the minhaj itself. And walladina tibuhum and those who follow them, this shows us the istimrariya, the um the consistency, uh, and that they are uh that they're they're consistent and they don't stop. They don't stop seeking knowledge, they don't stop doing uh, khair, good righteous deeds that don't stop trying to learn the minhaj and being on the sabil of mu'mineen uh, and that they are people they they have istimrar ta'atillah and this is what we need wa, you know istimrar in obedience to Allah wa istimrar fi ittiba' nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and that they are have istim, istimrar they're consistent in following the uh, the prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam and uh, this shows us uh, this shows us the consistency of Ahl Sunnah in the Taifa. And this goes back to the hadith, La Taifatum min Ummati Dharin al Haq. There won't cease to be a, a group of my nation uh, that continues to be on the truth. And uh, Shaykh Islam ibn Taymiyyah mentions a, a great fight uh, regarding this hadith. In his Majmu'a Fatawa, he says, Rahmatullah he says, Lakin Ahl Sunnah yabquna, yabquna, wa yabqa dhikrahum, wa Ahl al bidah yamutuna, wa yamut dhikrahum. Shaykh Islam ibn Taymiyyah makes a, a very important observation he says that uh ahl sunnah you know and derived from this hadith that ahl sunnah they can they continue to be present and they continue to be remembered whereas ahl bid'ah the people of innovation they die and their remembrance dies with them Although, yes, we, we know, we, we, we remember the names of the people of Bid'ah and, and for their relevance, but we only mainly talk about them in, in a negative light, except for those people who still adhere to people of the uh, Ahl Bid'ah from the past. But you see that their ideologies, they went to the side, they went to the wayside. And the Sunnah, the Messenger of Allah, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the Menhaj of Ahl Hadith, that continued, and it will continue until, until the Sa'ah. Until the hour is established, as the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam uh, mentioned, 
And another important point with this istimrar is the istimrariya fi dawah, consistency in dawah. And when you look at the mashayikh, and I'm going to really mention in my experience, uh, certain mashayikh you see, for example, Imam Abdul Masan al Abad, because that's what I have more experience in Medina and then in Yemen. Um, and he is an elder, an imam in hadith. And he was teaching six days a week. And I, he still teaches six days a week. He takes one day off. He takes, uh, he used to take off uh, Thursdays, I think it was. Yom al-Khamis, he used to take off. And Jumwa, he's back on. He's back on. And so, this, it shows that istimrari ala dawah. This imam, I don't even recall ever going to sit in any of his durus, I can't even really remember where he was sick. Whereas some younger mashayikh that weren't even known to be unhealthy, I, I, one particular one who the people say, alama, alama, but the only reason I didn't study with him really is because I tried to and he wasn't there. He was never in, at that time when I lived in Medina, he was never showing up in his masjid. He, uh, I, I, was, I was surprised. Even sometimes there's a fajr dars. And I and I only caught a, t a couple of his durus and and that was it. But that istimrar ala dawa, this is very important. So you need to be consistent, and this is a trait of ahl sunnah. And likewise in Yemen, what I saw from the mashayikh there, they sick and they come in from traveling, from doing dorat around the country or outside the country, and then they come right back up to the mimbar and give the khutbah right back. Fajr, he's the Sheikh is there coughing and and and, and giving and explaining tafsir ibn Kathir or something. So, you know, this is what you see, and that is an inspiration that influenced my life, and that's why I try to be consistent, even though I'm not teaching in uh, you know, a masjid, which is the asl, but I try to at least be somewhat consistent with my YouTube because it is a means to spread the doubt to Ahl Sunnah. That's that's what it is. And so, and this is what I learned from my scholars. And another characteristic of Ahl Sunnah is that they Ed'u Ed'u Sabili Rabbika Bil Hikmati Wal Mu'adatil Hasana. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Kitab al Kareem, and call to the path of your Lord with wisdom and good preaching. This is also a sifat of Ahl Sunnah because it's from the statement of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and it's a command. Ed'u. In a sabila rabbuk. That means Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has commanded you. Al amal yufi al wujuh. Whenever there's a command in general, it lets us know that it, it's a, it, it is a, an obligation. So here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has commanded us to call to Him. So that means it's the call to Tawheed. That means it's not the call to Sheikh so and so. It's not the call to my goal, my statement. It's not the call, the call to uh, Saint so and so, Abdul Qadir Jailani. It's not the call of uh, Sheikh uh, Imam Muhammad ibn Abdul Wahab. It's not the call uh, to Sheikh uh, Abdul Masan al Abad. It's not the call to Sheikh Rabi bin Hadi al Madhali. It's not the call to Sheikh Abed uh, uh, Jabri. May Allah preserve the living from amongst them and forgive and have mercy upon the, the deceased amongst them. And so it lets us know that this sabil is the sabil of Rabbuk. It's the sabil of your Lord. We love those ulama because of their adherence to that sabil and because they call, because they implement this ayat. Ed'u ila sabil of Rabbuk. Bil hikmati wa mu'adati al hasana. That they call to the path of their Lord with hikmah and, uh, you know, with wisdom and good preaching. That's why we love them. That's what, wh where our hearts become, because they teach us about that. They teach us the meaning. And that's what they implement. And with that being the case, that shows that the Dawah to Ahl Sunnah is present, is the Dawah to Tawheed, and it's a consistent Dawah, and it's a Dawah based on Righteous preaching and goodness. 
And the last hadith I want to mention in this regard is the hadith of Mu'adha bin Jabal radiallahu ta'ala when he was sent to Yemen. The Prophet sallallahu said, إِنَّ كَتَأْتِي كُومٍ مِّنْ أَحْلَ كِتَابٍ فَلْيَكُونْ فَلْيَكُونْ أَوْلَ مَا تَدْعُوا إِلَيْهِ إِنْ شَهَرَةَ إِلَّا 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 اللَّهُ the, the Prophet sallallahu sent Mu'adha bin, uh, bin Jabal radiallahu ta'ala to Yemen and he said, the, uh, uh, Verily I'm sending you to the people of the book, the Jews and the Christians. That's who was in Yemen at the time. And so the first thing I want you to call them to is shahadatin la ilaha illallah. So that lets us know that the da'wah to Ahl sunnah is about the da'wah to Tawheed. It isn't the da'wah to make khuruj for six days or 60 days or to, 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 to Pakistan or, or to India. But rather, it is the call to Tawheed, to understanding Tawheed, to, to understanding the rububiyah of Allah, the uluhiyah of Allah, the al-asma'i wa sifat of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this is based on the ilm of fiqh. Had the da'wah to Ahl sunnah. وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم